Many people think that life took millions of years to kick in. We're proposing to do it in just a few hours. Researchers have now created life from non-living parts. They have produced a living cell. The origin of life is one of those fundamental questions. Does the cosmos give rise to life as naturally as it makes stars and worlds? Scientists will surely debate whether this is truly creating new life. There's a lot of dishonesty in the origin of life field. James Tour is saying what he thinks. Jim is regarded as one of the leading voices in the world responding to origins of life research. We don't even know how to define life, let alone knowing how to spark it to begin. Most people think it's been solved. But he clearly doesn't understand information or the mathematics. He's just trying to provoke people. Why am I so motivated to speak up against this? It's because somebody pushed me. I was just minding my own business. Not anymore. There were many kinds of molecules in the primordial soup. In this ooze emerged the first life. If I say origin of life to you, virtually everybody will say primordial soup. Chemicals swimming around, bolts of lightning going off and somehow something happened and poof. I don't care what the scientific consensus is. I'm gonna expose this for what it is. I haven't made life in my lab, I will. I started looking into origin of life and I thought, this is smoke and mirrors. I know that you've recently had a close encounter with James Tour. Nobody's confronting this guy, so I guess I'll do it. It is clear that his religious views cloud his capacity to interpret research on this topic. People say the tour has to bring God into this. They're wrong. I'm perfectly situated to be commenting on this. I should know. I'm an organic chemist, so I know the most about this. Chemistry is utterly indifferent to life. There's something rather nefarious in the statements. I hate them so much. I really <laughs> want to just humiliate them. They want to attack me as an individual because they cannot address the science. He hopes to persuade his audience life could not have arisen without a literal miracle. It's undeniable. He's acting. Lying. I don't know what Dave Fariner's expertise is, but it is certainly not chemistry. So he brought in three experts. I'm going right after them. We'll just take them down one by one. So James, I'll leave you with this. You have a choice. You can be a scientist or you can be a preacher.